Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Sagittarius, happy birthday! I'm a fellow Sag son, so feeling it right now. I'm a, I'm a year older myself. Just celebrated my birthday last week. I was kind of in a weird low vibe for a few weeks there. Just really didn't want to cope with the fact that my birthday was coming up, but I've moved through it. I'm embracing the fact that the universe has allowed me to get a year older. It's okay. All right, so I'm doing something different because it's the holiday season. Call it your gift from the universe. Pull in a Wisdom Oracle, Archangel Michael. We're going to pull a Crystal Power Tarot. We're not going to look at any of them until the end of the reading. See how well they fit in with the rest of the cards that go down. Maybe somebody will take something out of it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Oh, this, this deck decided that you needed multiple messages. I saw that one, though, so we're going to put it back. I didn't see this one. Okay, I'll take it. It was the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are just embracing singularity right now. I don't know. Okay. Let's do this. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do what you choose to do with the message given by the cards. You choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it does resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the Firestar and Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello if you're new here. Think we might vibe and shit. You want to come hang out some more? You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, just so you know when I upload. If you're returning, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. I love it when old friends come to visit. I'm going to put that over there. I feel like this has something to do with it. I really do. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Two quick things before I invoke them and get them down for you, Sag. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And two, if it is definitely not your story, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not going to be your message every time. Okay, one more shuffle and I think we'll have it. And if I didn't say it already, anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel and it all helps the messages to be circulated to those who may need them. Okay, we're going to tip down, invoke the cards, and get them down for you. Whoa! Too far. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2021. Wow, I'm processing that. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to bring... Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Sagittarius, what the hell's going on? Ten of Swords reversed. How many times do I have to say this? And how many times are the fire signs going to pass this card around? What are you fighting? Are you fighting sunshine in your life? You're putting off something painful. You know, the longer you put it off, the worse it's going to be, right? What's the challenge? Four of Swords. Processing the heartache. Okay. Fair enough. What's coming up? Oh my gosh! I, I don't even want to clarify it. I don't, because I see you moving on to something new, to a new connection. I'm not touching that. I'm leaving that alone. Why is it happening? La! 
Not touching this either. I don't need clarity on that. Hmm. Ace of Wands reversed. A match struck. Didn't go anywhere. Devil reversed. You're disconnecting from something potentially toxic. Or avoiding something potentially toxic. Could be a Capricorn you're avoiding. It's the only major on the board right now. Could just be that it's going down during Capricorn season, maybe? But this is why. This could be some old shit. But there's a cup waiting for you. Hmm. Hmm. But you're not allowing the sun to shine in your life. You're putting off something painful because you don't want to process the heartbreak. Is that why you're single? Huh. Don't make me clarify any of this. Now I have to. Hmm. Mm. Uh. Now this I'm not so sure of. Six of Pentacles reversed, Terrafin reversed. Oh, I get it. Two of Pentacles reversed. You're kicking a ball around. Do I or don't I? You realize you don't have to get serious with every person you date, right? Every connection doesn't have to get serious. I feel like somebody is avoiding something or just expecting to go into something that is not going to be equal give and take because you haven't processed what happened down here. I'm a, I, I see you moving forward to something new, but I also see it not working out. And it's not going to work out because you refuse to let the sun shine in your life again because you're not processing, processing something that was painful. I mean, I'm not going to throw shit if you decide to stay single forever. But is that what you really want? Now i got to clarify shit, guys. Come on. Talk to me about the Four of Swords. What's up with the Four of Swords, huh? What's up with the Four of Swords? <laughs> oh, she landed sideways. She's more. Oh, shoot. She's sideways. She's more up than she is down. Or down than she is. Oh, guys. Yes. You didn't want it to end, but it did. It sent you down a path, didn't it? And sometimes those hermit paths can be a little bit uncomfortable. Sometimes the challenge is accepting that something's over. Talk to me about this double reversed. Just the double reversed. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Three of cups. Six of Pentacles reversed. Guys. <sighs> Let 
wasn't even. There was unequal energy going into the connection. That's why it wouldn't spark. Some of you, there could have been a third party involved, but it, there was not balance here. Maybe they did some unsavory things, but you broke away from it. Ace of Cups, leading into the Ace of Cups. You wanted a cup that was full. Talk to me about this Ace of Cups universe. Thank you. Three of Swords. There it is. There it is. You broke your heart to do it. Talk to me about the Ace of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed, and the Four of Pentacles reversed. Mm. Really got started. This had you at a crossroads for a minute, didn't it? One card. Talk to me about this Two of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Move slowly. Move slowly. Gosh, that sounds like a warning. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Move slowly. I'm hearing, feeling, sensing you get from the one to the ten, but it's not a race. If you make it into a race, you get this. One in the six of pentacles. One in the six of pentacles reversed. Queen of pentacles. One more. Five of Swords reversed. Page of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. Ah. Nine of Wands. Yes, you are worthy. But you gotta let your guard down a little bit. Very heavily guarded. It might do some of you some good to walk this path before you move into this. You haven't walked the path yet. And some, sometimes you gotta walk that path alone. There's something beautiful coming your way. But you need to move past this. Five of Swords reversed into the Six of Swords in the upright before you can do that. You have to process the change. 
but to let something go. You haven't let it go. Don't call in a rerun. You're worthy. You're worthy. You call in the Knight of Wands. Why are you calling in the Knight of Wands when you're the Queen of Pentacles? You have to move more slowly. Talk to me about the Hierophant reversed. Four wands. Celebration of the moment. Don't expect too much too fast. But first, two of wands, you must let go. You must let go. All right. Crystal power. Queen of Pentacles, holy shit, there she is. I have everything I need to prosper. That's how you call that in. I have everything I need. Go forward fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my life's true purpose. Flexible, number 19. One plus nine is 10, 10 is the one. One is the new start. Flexible, number 19. Really? Really, old man, really? He's getting a drink of water. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure, like a building, can come crashing down. Consider how the tree maintains supple and secure when everything around it is in shambles. This is how you need to be now, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At the same time, others will be more flexible with you too. Friends, somebody needed it. Hope you took something out of it. Thanks, Sagittarius. Know that you're loved to be blessed. Happy freaking birthday! And I'll catch you for round two in a couple of weeks. Peace, love, and light.